Okay, let's take a look at positioning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this join now eventually, this green background, and I'm going to move it up here on top of the image. Okay. And so I'm going to be using positioning to do so. It allows you to create some create some uh, some interesting designs when you are able to position objects over top of each other. Um, and in this case, when I position it, because I have this object below, um, it's going to take that image and it's going to put it join now. It's going to be on top of the image. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at my HTML page. All I do, all I have here is a figure. Um, let me just kind of indent this a little bit differently so you can see it. Okay. Um, figure element, I gave it a name, ID sub one. So that way I can apply a style to it because you might have multiple figures. Figures typically, when you use a figure element, you're typically grouping your image and your caption together. So here I have my image and then right below it is the fig caption okay and again notice that the image and the fig caption are together inside the figure this fig caption is what you see here join now okay it has a certain height certain width so let's take a look at this in our style sheet okay so notice the width is 220 height is 100 background color is green font color is white Okay, right above this is, is the figure where we had ha um, ID equals sub one. Its width is the same as the uh, sub two. A different background color, and there's a little space in between sub one and sub two. Okay, um, and that margin, uh, see it says margin bottom. That's that little gap that's right between the image and that div section. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to move this up. Okay, so relative to its position, move it upwards. Relative to its position, move it upwards. Now, that's very simple then. Then we're going to go is in, into our brackets, or whatever text editor you're using, and I'm going to turn on the positioning. And this time I'm going to use relative. Okay, and then what I want to do is, I'm going to, since I'm going to force it upwards, I'm going to use the top method. But I don't want to put in a positive value because positive value is going to move it from that top portion down from that. So to move it up, we're going to use a negative value. Now, what is negative value we're going to use? Um, I'm going to look at the height here, and we want to make sure it moves up at least negative 100. When I save it, I refresh you can see this join now has moved up over top of this image that's been cycling through now as you think about this okay then you can start adding other brack you know other other um, uh, styles to kind of create some some different looks to this so let me cut I'm gonna cut this out and I want to go in and I'm gonna say okay let's do position absolute Okay, and I'm going to say um, top negative 100. Now, let's take a look at this now. It's no longer down here at the bottom. It's nowhere. Where is it? It's actually a, it's above your screen. <laughs> it's actually above your screen because what as soon as when you do absolute, the absolute starts at the top of the browser. So that corner over here, that's a zero left, zero top. So if you're doing negative 100, it's going to go out beyond that screen. So let's just take a look at this real quick. I'm going to go in and change this to 100. I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh. So this basically took join now and it took it down 100 pixels from the top. 100 pixels from the top so that becomes an issue when you are working with positioning um, absolute is going to look at the whole big page wrapper while the relative is going to be relative to its positioning now with that said 
there are ways to kind of keep it maintained in that area. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to position this absolutely in just the figure area, I could go back up here into the main group, the figure group, which is hashtag sub sub one. I can go in and say position. I'm going to just type in relative. Okay, let's see what the difference is. Notice now it's placing the join now inside the figure itself. Okay, now why? Well, this is the main group. And so what it's doing is you're turning on the position relative for that large group. Any items in there that you turn on position absolute, it'll stay basically in that container unless you do a negative value or tell it to go outside it. So in this case, what we would do is we would take the main group and make it relative and then any specific items we want to move around inside that group, we make it position absolute. And then we just put in our top, left, right, and, and uh, bottom positioning if we need to. Now, the fun part here, as you can see here, see how it puts join now or kind of like in the middle? You know, now I there's some graphics here I would not want to hide, okay, uh, just because it's not you're missing most of the golf swings and so forth. But you know, th that is a feature I've seen before where they put it in the middle of the image. And what they do is they take in, they add a little opacity. So you get transparency. So, again, um, what we're trying to do here is I'm trying to showcase the difference between positioning absolute and relative and get better control over that. Hopefully it does, um, you know, and this is where you typically see something is like when you want to put a caption over top of the image. So, one of the things you could probably see it as, and, and you can add it toward when you start working with jQuery and JavaScript and animation, but notice here when I bring my mouse over an image, you see the caption is down below it, and then they have a little border going around this, so that way most of the image is seen. So basically what they're doing is they're triggering a CSS, um, a class, to be applied to this, and when I bring my mouse over it, it actually moves the moves the caption up on top of this. So um, another place that could be used as, for example, if you're trying to to take a heading and you need to exactly position in a certain area on a, a like here when you have background of an image like this. Um, so position it makes it easier because you're trying to find the right place what makes it easier to read. That's where positioning comes in play.